Classes were dismissed a few minutes after 10 Monday morning after the principal and teachers assessed several areas around and in the school buildings. The school's principal, George Edwards, subsequently wrote a letter to the Ministry of Education detailing the conditions and their decision to send the students home. The teachers have taken some form of industrial measure because after making several complaints about the cleanliness of the school and the classrooms are not properly being clean, they've decided that they will not continue to work in them until they're properly clean. That's the bathrooms, the classrooms and the general surroundings of the school. Our news team also caught up with the Chief Health Inspector Lionel Michael who was called in to assess the situation. Generally the compound is clean. Very, lit, very little litter, but there are certain sections that have a considerable amount of litter. Um, in the classroom themselves, need attention. The, the, the walls, the floors, the ceilings need attention. The cleaners need to pay close attention to cleaning the school. He indicated that the cleaners can definitely do a better job. The cleaners need to pay close attention to cleaning the school, clean the classrooms and the bathrooms. But the cleaners need to play their part. It is very clear that the, the, the cleaning is not done properly and effectively and frequently enough to get rid of dust and dirt and cobwebs and, and so forth. Education Minister Honorable Michael Brown told ABS that he received communication about the conditions from the principal and advised of the action that was taken by school officials. The principal of the All Saints Secondary School now awaits a report from the Chief Health Inspector detailing what the next steps should be. I am Elisa Graham, reporting for ABS News.